another debacle with Ticketmaster in the U.S., where the ticketing giant was forced to cancel public sales for singer Taylor Swift's Eras tour after extraordinarily high demand. <laughs> Definitely. Man, I wish I had that problem. Sparking condemnation from lawmakers and a lawsuit from fans. And this <laughs> Bad Bunny said, What a night. Thank you, Mexico. Thank you, America, for the best experience of my life. Wow. I guess it's part of the course nowadays. You know, everybody's looking to rob you. Not me. This is fucked up. Every time I buy a ticket from Ticketmaster, I feel like I'm getting robbed. It really makes me sad. It's like the ticket's already $100 or whatever. And now it's like, okay, I, instead of rambling, I use an example. Me and my old lady went to see a concert. And I bought the tickets through Ticketmaster, and I was like, I was like, I'll up for $90 for the nicer tickets. I got $200. So I'm like looking at the tickets. Budget, $200. Um, and it's like, okay, um, check out 280 or some shit. And Ticketmaster's got some kind of fee or some shit. Fees. Fees, fees, fees. Fees for what? It's the internet. I have a website. I have a website. I could charge you for things. Fees? I mean, maybe $5? It's just ridiculous. I do not get it. It is beyond comprehension. Honestly. Screw these. I want to play in Mexico. Remy said... Bad Bunny is bigger than Drake. LOL, that's nuts. LOT was too popular. Must have been fucking nice. Must have been real nice. So many fees. This shit is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Just makes me disgusted, dude. Ticketmaster, abolish Ticketmaster. I'm I'm cool with five dollars at the door. That is fine with me. Unbelievable. I just wanted anybody who's watching, and I'll post this clip to be aware. I saw this story last week, and I um, I meant to freaking um, talk on it last week, but I didn't because I had, was, like, too busy. But I just don't understand how... I guess everything's legal in Mexico. Somebody's getting... But there are fucking people here, too. It's it is what it is. I mean, they can they can kiss my ass. I I don't want nothing to do with it. It says Black, Bad Bunny, who closed his international tour in Mexico City, has yet to comment on his social media regarding the ticketing issue or the request. I'm sure he has not wanted to talk on it there he is right there i'm looking at him he looks like a goof we're gonna here's another that one was from the guardian Ticketmaster mexico to face millions in fines over bad bunny concert ticket screw up they face millions of dollars in fines after more than a thousand fans see they say a thousand it was it's thousands were denied entrance to Bad Bunny's concert, being told that their tickets were not valid. But they... Time to riot. These fans are entitled to a full refund. That's what the Ticketmaster people said. Despite having purchased their tickets legally, many were told, so they just sold too many tickets. Why? I wish I had that problem. Somebody oversold tickets for me. Due to the cloning of tickets for the singer on Friday, the Office of Mexico's Federal Consumer Attorney sent a team of people to the Estadio Azteca on Saturday to help consumers facing ticketing issues. They got him a public 
lawyer. Over 90,000 attendees. There were not 90,000 people in the videos I saw. Bad Bunny tweeted also, I take this tour in my heart forever. Long live Latin America. Long live music in Spanish. Wow. That's cute. Well, that's lame. I would say, I don't, you know, don't go through Ticketmaster, but I'm going to keep going through them. and Probably all of us are. I guess it's just another way we get shafted. It's just part of existing as a human, you know, just keep getting shafted. Get the old shaft, the old shaft Rooney, you know what I mean? Unbelievable. It's freaking ridiculous, dude. Oh, well. Well, we'll end it on, uh, I had one more thing. I want to do these now. This, I used to get a guitar magazine that had these. It didn't have the author. I'm not going to go to the top. I believe they couldn't find the author of them. I want to find the artist who drew these. But today we're going to go over Adam Jones of Tools 2019 Fear Inoculum Era Guitar Rig Rundown. I used to love these. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. All right, these are his guitars. He used the Gibson Black Les Paul Custom and a Gibson Les Paul Custom Silver Burst. I've seen him with the Silver Burst. Love the Silver Burst. Sounds killer. And then he's got... So here we're at the Amp Rack. A diesel VH4 Amp 100 Watt Amp. And he's got two of them. And then a 1976 Marshall Super Bass Modified. I'm going to use that for his cleaner tones, I guess. So he's got what? They all go in here. So his pedal board goes into this box. Let's see these pedals. This is what I like. He got the CN Punk triple wrestling photo where is that at oh there it is he's got a photo a wrestling photo on his pedal board it is a cn punk versus triple eh wrestling i like that nice. next to it is the volume right there a boss psm he got the mxr micro amp those are nice i have this pedal i believe Number 12, what is that? 12 is a Boss Flanger. That one just sits next to the pedal board. Doesn't do anything. I like the wrestling photo. Pretty simple rig. Not a whole, not a whole lot. And then what? Does he go out into... Oh, I guess he goes from the back of the amps into... Oh, the diesel dirty signal to the cab. The diesel sig clean signal to this cab. And then what goes to this one? That one goes to the Marshall. So I guess his effect. I don't know how he does his effects. Maybe he sends them to the house. Oh, I bet they're in the effects loop of the amps. Well, that's a pretty clean page. That's a pretty clean um, pedal board. Damn, I guess he just sounds like that because he is that way. Awesome. The things I do for that rig. I want three cabs on stage. All right, guys. I think I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I'm I'm planning to do more of them. I, I think I'm going to do one. And Ryan, uh, I do run without the amp, bro. I run the helix dog and it's cool but it's not as cool as a wall of half stacks <laughs> that's cool i bet sydney bailed she doesn't like guitar talk let me see what my time is at where am i at i think i did good thank y'all for um listening in if you listen to this streamed it as a podcast thank you if you watch the clips 
Um, Y'all don't forget to like, follow if anybody else is in there. Ryan 